All right, so if you watched my previous video, you would see that this is the dirt from the futon that we cleaned with the motorized pet tool right there. It did a fantastic job in getting out all the dirt and dust. So we're gonna see how well this Shark Apex Powered Lift Away Duo Clean with Zero M performs on long and short pet hair all over this really dirty rug. You can see it has been just a couple days since my last video of cleaning and this is the amount of dirt that we have been able to get. So we're gonna see how well this machine performs. You can see that it has done a pretty good job on the first initial pass. I am pretty impressed on the first pass. All right, so let's continue. It did pretty good right there. It's really trying to get away from me. Wow, he's got a big clump of hair right here. Let's see how well it does. Wow, that was awesome. I just watched it tear up the hair. Wow, this is, I have to say that this is, sorry about my cord getting in the way. I'm trying to keep that from happening, but it's a really long cord. Um, this machine is so powerful that it is actually making my arm hurt trying to keep it steady and slow for you guys. So I apologize if the camera is shaky. All right, so we're going to continue. You can see it has done a pretty decent area right here. I had to switch arms because this machine is actually a bit of a workout because it has so much power. You can see it just pulling in that hair and it's sizzling it right up keeping it from getting caught in the brush bowl. This helps, holding it like this, trying to make the video. But you can see it, it's just, it's keeping all the hair from getting wrapped See how that long strand doesn't look like anything is getting wrapped in this brush roll. The lights are nice and bright. Oh wow, okay. So, I have managed to almost completely fill this machine up with dirt on the first initial use on the first test. That is crazy, we're up to almost the max fill line. Let's remove the dirt bin right here with the dust cup release. And you can see we have filled it up almost to the top right there. And nothing has gotten wrapped around the cyclone, which is great. I am very happy about that. All of the dirt got pushed into the dirt bin, as you can see right there. The filter doesn't even look like it is even that dirty. I don't see any hair on that filter. That is really nice. 
So this is actually a little bit more room right there. We would probably be able to fill it, but I'm concerned about it being so full up to the max fill line on the other side. So you, you can see that it has done a very well job. I'm so excited that it has just performed so well. We're gonna take a look at this brush roll. Let's take a look and see. All right, so the Zero M brush roll does not work as designed. As you can see, there's still a lot of hair wrapped around this brush roll that it did not get off. So you would still have to go in as push this button, the power lift away, comes up and off. Set this to the side, push that down, pull it up and out so this is sitting aside on the ground. All right, so access brush roll, this is what you do. So this is what the zero M, these are just spikes that kind of just ride along on this here. So I could see how maybe that would not be the best of way to get the hair off. This going against that would help, but as you can see, it did not completely remove the hair off of this brush roll. As you can see, there's still hair wrapped around that you would have to remove manually. Now, it doesn't look like it would be as much of a difficult job to remove this hair, but there is still a significant amount of hair wrapped around this brush roll after cleaning that. So we'll just remove that now so you can see the amount of hair in one clump. There's even a little piece of paper so it was about this much hair that got wrapped around the brush roll. So I guess it's not that bad, but still, it got wrapped around. So I would like to see how that would be in the long run. But we're going to continue cleaning the rest of this because I think I have just a little bit more. I'll adjust that in the dirt cut. I'll show you. You place this in just like that. Align those up. Push it in and click it down on each side to activate the sensor to make this power nozzle work. So we're gonna clean this mess up real quick with this right here. I wanna feel the air flow. That is so much air flow. That's, that's a lot, wow. All right, so we're gonna test out this caddy to see if it makes it any easier with cleaning because the weight of it was getting to me. All right, so that isn't going on. Is it even the right caddy? It's probably not even the right caddy. Oh, so. It looks like you're gonna have to remove this in order to make that work. So you can't have it on the caddy and have this on. All right, so let's see if this makes it any easier to clean. It's very powerful. It's trying to get away from me. Okay, so in all honesty, in a completely honest review, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. This power nozzle is not performing very good on this carpet on the pet hair. Because I have gone over this and it has just kind of smeared a lot of the hair instead of picking it up. As you can see, there's hair all over the floor and I've already cleaned this area. I'm gonna show you right now. It is on carpet low pile. And let's test right here. And you can see there's still hair all over right there. And so we're gonna test it on 
thick carpet area because I feel like it spins a little bit faster on that. So let's test it. One pass forward. One pass back. Let's try again. One pass forward. One pass back. One pass forward. One pass back. One pass forward. One pass back. Forward, back, forward, back. Forward, back. The hair is now gone. So let's go over here. We're gonna move it up because I'm tired of going back and forth so many times. So here's the difference. So now it is on this middle setting. And you can see. It takes a few passes to get up all the hair. So I'm not really liking this machine. On this particular carpet. Okay, so we have finished this rug as much as I'm going to do because it's really a powerful vacuum and it really has a strong motor and it really spins but there's not really any visible agitation and it has a lot of power to suction it down but you can see that it does not do the best of job on pet hair and I don't know if it's because the brushes are so spread out to prevent you know the hair wrap that it is not agitating as well as it should or the brushes aren't long enough to really make contact with this low pile carpet so something's going on and preventing this machine from doing the best of job that I know that Shark can do. But you can see that we have managed to fill the bin all the way. So yes, it has done a good job at getting a lot of the hair, but yet again, there's still hair on my carpet. So it's up to you to decide what you think about this machine. In my personal opinion, I don't think it's the best Shark that they have ever made. I mean, you can see the filter is still nice and clean, so they did some improvements to the Cyclone or whatever in there to make it so the dust goes more in the bin but you can see there's nothing really wrapped around that cone in there and all the dirt is right here so that's good but yet there's still hair on the floor after I already cleaned so I'm gonna keep cleaning I'm gonna empty the bin and see what I can get next so I've actually managed to compact the dirt and hair in there to make it below about the halfway mark right there by just holding it in my hands and forcefully doing that to make it compact without banging it on the ground. So that is good. So we can continue to clean. wants to suck up its own cord. Alright, so we have managed to finally finish cleaning this rug for the most part. We have filled up the dirt bin even more with hair, as you can see. So overall the performance is okay. Not the best shark I've ever used. It is quite heavy and it requires quite a lot of effort to actually use this power nozzle. 
probably because of the dual rotating brushes both pulling against you. So I hope you enjoyed this video with the Shark Apex Power Lift Away Duo Clean Zero with Zero M. Please let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. As you can see, there is still hair getting wrapped around this brush roll. So the Zero M, not the best choice to have used in my opinion. They could have done something a little bit better because it's still getting hair wrapped around it, as you can see. So overall, this machine did a pretty good job. You can see it has gotten all of the hair. After going over multiple times in multiple directions, we managed to pick up every single strand of hair that was left on the carpet. I wanna take a look at the brush roll to see if after all that additional vacuuming, it had time to clean the brush roll. So let's take a look. You can see that a piece of paper got stuck and the brush roll actually looks a little bit cleaner than it did the last time we saw it. And I did not clean it off myself other than the one you saw me do on camera. So it seems to have done a pretty decent job in getting off the hair after that extended period of cleaning. So I hope you enjoyed this video with the Shark Apex Powered Lift Away Duo Clean with Zero M. Please let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.